What is going on everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video. And now today we're going to be starting a sort of overview of each individual characters one by one in Injustice 2. And these are not really like tutorials because this is pre-day one patch. All right, so things are going to change on day one. And they're going to change moving forward, but this is just sort of like a first look overview at these characters so you guys can know what to expect when you play with these specific characters. And by far the most requested one has been Poison Ivy. I was actually very interested myself in playing her, so here we go. I'm not going to go like too in-depth on everything, I'm just going to talk about, you know, the most important things. So, first off, I just want to say Poison Ivy is a character in which you have to have some execution because her combos are not easy to do. She's also a very hit confirm heavy character. So you have to see something hit and then confirm it into one of your special moves. Um, she's very slow as far as her buttons go. She has a nice walk speed and everything, which is good. But her stand one is her fastest like actual punish, which is nine frames. So she's not really like an up close and personal character that you want to compete versus fast buttons. She is mix-up heavy. You know, she has a lot of mix-ups in the middle of her strings and stuff that you could do, which I'll go into, but her buttons are not the fastest. She's more of a space control character, like stay around this range, you know, you'll punish your opponent with that. And this move right here, really good. Okay, so let's get started here. Like I said, stand one, her fastest button, and she has this combo string that's very Kung Lao-like. So I'll show you guys. It's one, two, one. That's the first part. One, two, one, two. Second part. And the third part is one, two, one, two, one, two, or one, two, one, two, one, three. And this is actually a hard knockdown right here. If you actually complete the entire combo string, it's a hard knockdown. It gives you uh, the ability to call in your trait for free. So, you know, that's a really good way to hard knock down your opponent if you can um but your your best punish oh i'll show you guys the shortcut by the way before i go any further now you don't have to press every button individually like i am right there what you could do is the same thing with kung lao is sort of shortcut this by pressing the one and two button at the same time twice so you go like this and the first part of the combo comes out that's a lot easier than you know going like that especially since you actually have to press the button really fast in order to combo this so you could go uh one two one two together and it completes the first part. And then, of course, after that, you just press Y to complete the second part. And then you press Y, X, and A to complete the fourth part. Just like that. So that's the easy way to get that. And at any point in this combo string, you could actually cancel into one of her special moves. So this is definitely your best button, your best uh, punish. And one cool thing is that the second part is actually plus one on block. So it... it the reason it's so good is because you have one frame of animation to move before your opponent can. And she has a really nice back walk speed. So, you know, you're plus one on block, you walk back a little bit. If your opponent tries to press a button or anything, you whiff punish them with that. So, something that really nice that she has. Uh, moving on to this specific move. This is, I think, her best button. Uh, let's see, what is it? 11 frames. This reminds me of Cassie's back one so much. And the cool thing is that it goes into a low and both are safe. So you could end it there. You're only like minus three or you could do the whole string and you're like minus five. And the cool thing is that it's very easy to hit confirm. And for you guys who might not know what hit confirm is, it's pretty much when you do a specific attack, for example, like this. And if it hits, you actually cancel it and confirm it into a special move. If they block it, you don't do anything. Because if you do do a move when they block it, you're going to get punished. So that's what confirming is. Very easy to do. And we'll get into the combos and the difficulty in getting that forward three. It takes timing. Um, but this button is really good. Like I mentioned, look at her back walk speed. It's really nice. So at any point, you know, you could even shimmy your opponent. Meaning like you could go in, like if you're going to grab them, walk back a little bit. Boom. And then do anything else. I'll show you guys some combos. Don't worry. Um, so that's a really nice move right there. She also has forward one, two. Or forward two, one. And this is the same thing. You could easily hit confirm this. And if you, if your opponent blocks it, you go into forward two, one, two. That's safe. And this is actually plus one. 
four one forward two one three. It's a double ending overhead, and it's plus your opponent cannot backdash or anything, and it's an insanely hard knockdown. Like you're like plus fifty after that, so that means you could call in your trade for free. As far as like her best buttons, I think those are it. Like standing one, obviously to punish. You could also punish with uh, stand two. It's a double hitting like normal, and if you do two one, it goes into a low. And if you do 2-1-3, it goes into a high-low double overhead that your opponent cannot backdash from. So that's definitely pretty nice. She has a lot of these combo strings that have overhead and lows mixed in between them, which is always nice because, you know, you could either go with that double overhead, and the cool thing is you could actually cancel after it. So you could actually do a special move after that, and you could also, instead of going with the whole string, which goes into overhead, you could cancel it into her stance, which I'll talk about in a bit, but that's a low right there. So instead of going low overhead, you go low low with that. All right, so now that we got the, her best buttons out the way, um, let's talk a little bit about some of her combo strings. So she also has this move right here, which is back one. It's a 10 frame low. It doesn't have too much range, to be honest with you guys, but doing back one two is completely safe. You're only minus three. So this is really good low combo starter that's 10 frames that is safe on block. And you could also hit confirm it into, you know, this, or you could do the stance and launch your opponent like that. That in combo. There you go, that combo. So she's very complicated and very um, execution heavy. Let's go over some more combos. Uh, the one that I just showed you guys, 2-1-3, goes into overhead. You know, of course, you could cancel it. The Kung Lao type string could cancel at any time. Um, she also has this standing 3 1, which goes into a low. And then if you finish it, it goes into another low. This is completely safe. You're actually minus 3 after doing this. So it's nice. Another combo string that you could definitely use with her is her only meterless launcher that doesn't involve trait, which is 1 2 1 up 3. This right here, and of course you could combo it afterwards. Could combo it, go into your command grab. And that's a good way to get some meterless damage or combo extension with the command grab. Ooh, a little bit too far away, but you guys get the gist. It's pretty much the combo. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about some of her special moves. Let's start off with the first one, which is her Vine Drill. And this one's important because you could actually meter burn it to pop your opponent up. Boom, boom. And you could connect another Vine Drill if you are too far away. But most of the time, like if you do it in a combo, you're actually going to be able to get her overhead. And this is where like the execution comes in. And these combos could get tricky to do. It takes some getting used to, but you could actually get one of these after a vine drill. So let's see if I could demonstrate that for you guys. Missed the, missed the easy part. There you go. So that's a combo right there. That's like a typical mid-screen hit confirm combo with Poison Ivy. So definitely practice this because the vine drill into... The overhead takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of getting used to. But once you get it down, it'll be a lot easier for you. So pretty much the same thing applies to all the combos. Anytime you catch your opponent with one of these, you know, you go into your forward three. And if you don't want to go into the forward three because it's a little bit too execution heavy or hard, you could always dash up and do something like that. It's almost the same damage, to be honest with you guys. It's, that is her Vine Drill, and the second important move that she has is her Command Grab. Now, this Command Grab could be ducked, unfortunately. It's not like a mid Command Grab. If Harley Quinn is ducking, crouching, without blocking, or just crouching, uh, she's going to be able to go under it, which kind of sucks. But it's very strong because it leaves you at insane plus frames and of course you could get combos afterwards you could also coin your um you know nightshade especially if you're in the corner you know you get this going and then you start your mix-ups and nightshade doesn't go away and he keeps spitting unless harley quinn actually 
touches Poison Ivy actually damages me. Um, so the Command Grab is really strong. But you could also end your combos and Command Grab all the time. So let's just say you get uh, something like this. Could end that, end the combo there if you want. You could extend it if you want, something like this. Now the cancels are a little bit tricky. As you guys see, that's like a one bar combo right there. And you could, another thing you could do is called tick throws. So let me have Harley block here. And off standing one, you could tick throw the command grab, meaning if they're blocking when you press like down one or stand one, and you input your command grab right away, they're gonna get hit by it unless they backdash it or jump it. Down one, the same thing. And sadly, those are the only ones. <laughs> down one and stand, oh, actually down two as well. Yeah, down two, actually tick throws into a command grab. But other than that, those are the only ones. Stand one is actually a pretty good one because, you know, it goes into this. So it's pretty good. Down one the same, seven frames, her fastest button, but that is her command grab. Now let's talk about her last special move that's actually important, which is her stance. Now, whenever you do down, down one, Poison Ivy goes into the stance where she's holding this, uh, this like wrecking ball type thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you call it and she just stands there. You can like, Backdash, you can't do anything except for the specific buttons of the attacks. And the buttons are, after you go after you go into your stance, you could press 1 for a straight shot. It's a mid. You could press 3 for a low. As you guys see, they have good range. You could press 2 to launch your opponent. And you can meter burn to get this multi-hitting move. And this move is not plus at all or anything. I don't even know if it's safe on block, to be honest with you guys. But it's something that you could do. If you, you know, hit your opponent with this, you could go into that, and then you could press any other one of the stance moves to continue it. So after you do the meter burn, you could do the low by pressing A, or you could launch your opponent by doing that. So it's definitely useful. But one of the best things about this specific move is you could cancel it very quickly. If you press up, you cancel it, as you guys see. She gets rid of it. And if you have your opponent scared of uh, something like this, it's a low mix up, you know? You could cancel it and then start your offense again. But the real thing that is uh, useful in this variation is you get some nice meterless damage, like meterless combos, because Stance 2 actually launches your opponent and then you could cancel it and finish your combo. So. Something like this. And as you guys see, that is a meterless 23%. You could hit confirm it off of any of these other strings as well. Does 28% right there. It gets a little tricky when you're further away. Like when you do this move right here, it pushes Harley really far back. So. Most of the time, you're not gonna be able to get your command grab unless you're like this close. But if you're like this close, the best you could do is just like hit hit her with this. I don't even think, you know, that specific thing that I did connect because she's too far. Now, if you're that close, like if you're like, you, if you jump in and do the combo, yeah, it's gonna work. But if you're like this range, which is, you know, still in range for her stand too, if you're in max range, it's not gonna work. As you guys see, it's too far away. But the stance is definitely something that's going to be important to her getting some extra damage, especially mid-screen. Like, when she gets in the corner, she could be really scary. But this is really the only way to get damage mid-screen with her. Unless you, you know, hit confirm into this. Which, of course, you're spending a bar of meter to do that. But this is the only way to get some meterless damage with her. And then, of course, you know, you could always extend it if you guys want. That's a 33% combo right there.
So those are like the, the basics of Poison Ivy. Now let's talk a little bit about her trait. Now her trait is uh, pretty straightforward to be honest with you guys. You call it in and it just shoots projectiles nonstop until it runs out of projectiles or you hit Poison Ivy. Now you could actually summon it before it leaves to do a low move. Like if you press down in trait, you command Nightshade to go and do a low move. I haven't found the use in this too much, to be honest. Maybe on knockdown. Uh, because she actually has to command him to, like, go down. If it would just be, like, you command him without, like, her not being able to move, then it would be really good. But just, like, the, uh, the little dinosaur shooting projectiles is already really good. Because you could actually uh, have a lot of pressure on block. So, show you guys right now. You do something like this. You call him in. So your plus right there again and you could definitely pressure a lot now of course you could push block that at any point um, but just having nightshade consistently be shooting out projectiles if your opponent tries to you know uh, punish you and he gets caught by one of those you could easily combo it afterwards into that of course at any point you could spend two bars Hard knockdown them, and then get Nightshade out, you know? He's actually, I don't know if he's on the other side or not, doesn't look like it. But, you know, with him out, you know, you could do a lot of different things. So, that is a basic overview of Poison Ivy. Uh, like I mentioned, really good space control with stuff like this. A little bit harder on the execution side with the combos. But you don't need to make it hard. You don't need to do this if you if you don't want to. You could always just hit confirm into this, dash up a little bit, and combo into that. That's very easy. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, if you don't want to combo into her regular command grab because you can't, maybe you can't do the input, you could actually do uh, back two, down two, one plus three, and she does her own finisher, which is very useful. As you guys see, it does the same amount of damage, but the only negative is that it does side switch. So if you want to keep your opponent in the corner and you want to go for this, you're the one that's going to be put in the corner. And with Poison Ivy, one of her biggest downfalls, she has no good wake up. None whatsoever. I think her command grab might be her good wake up. I don't even think she has an uh, invincible reversal wake up, to be honest with you guys. So that is her downside. She could get rushed down like crazy because she has no good wake up like her wake up game sucks it might be one of the worst if not the worst in the game because she really doesn't have any like good moves to wake up from um but her combos are really fun man her combos are really fun um i'm looking forward to learning the most optimal combos with poison ivy but I wanted to make this video to give you guys a little overview of poison ivy what she's all about i hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.